Go. Stable traffic, Cessna 5295 Golf at runway 14 for a south departure, Steve Will. Base clear, final clear. Runway looks clear. Yeah, very slight crosswind, so yeah, full deflection into the wind. Keep it in the middle with your feet. And it feeds alive. Fifty-five, rotate. Accelerate to 73. Get ready for the cockpit noise. All right, just climb straight ahead. Uh, heading 150, climb to 3,500. Traffic Archer, 70 Mike, left base, 17, touch and go, Breckenridge. The Vega traffic, November 2124, left base, 217. What do we do before we do any maneuvers? Clearing turns. Very good, okay. Give me some clearing turns. Watch that altitude, don't let it get away from down below you or out in front of you. I need to just lower the nose a little more uh, to keep it from wanting to climb. But you got enough down for nose down trim. Yep. This is uh, Copter November 818 Mike Tango, uh, departure end, and we are turning out. It just wants to climb. ABTR, Decatur traffic. Alrighty, um, get yourself all set up there whenever you want, whenever you're ready. You can give me a steep turn to the left, 45 degrees of bank. Go all the way around, roll out on 150, maintain 3,500, maintain 45 degrees of bank. 350? Uh, 150, 150. Go all the way around, okay. roll out on 150, sorry. Okay, clear the right. Clear on the left. Clear on the left. There you go. Yeah, get after that altitude. After that. That knows where you know it belongs. Very good, you saved yourself. There you go. <laughs> bring it a little higher, bring it a little higher. There you go. Yeah, 
take advantage of that rollout to get your altitude back. Do one to the right. Uh, yeah, full stop. 45 degree bank turn. All the way around, roll out of 150. Maintain 45 degrees of bank. Maintain 3,500 feet. Yeah, make sure compass and heading indicator agree with each other. Hey, clear on the road. Watch out. Maybe we were in an updraft or something. You might have gone through an updraft. It's bumpy enough. There might be some of that going. Yeah, just get on after it. Alright, roll on in that mic. Breaking our traffic. Archer 70 mic. Turning left base. Work on it during the turn. There you go. Good, good, good altitude. Clear the right, clear the left. I relax some of that back for a little more. Yeah, there you go. Now, right rudder, a little right rudder. Keep that ball in the middle and it won't climb on you. Sky sure does look cool. Good bank angle, good altitude, very good. Inverted traffic, uh, land 36262 is in the left hand. And we ran through our own wake turbulence, so you must have made a nice <laughs> level turn, sir. You do them better to the right than you do. <laughs> yeah, no, to the left. You're, you're one of those guys. Okay. Yeah, most people have an easier time with the one to the left. All right. Um, slow flight with 20 degrees of flaps. And what speed do we use for that? 55 knots. And why is that? It's the best speed with flaps. Oh, 10 knots from the stall horn. Yeah, there you go. 10 knots above stall. Okay. So that's what you'll tell him on the check ride. Very good. Five knots, twenty degrees of flat. Two thousand. Maybe. There you go. Yeah, head it off. That's good. Very good. And on the on the, when you do turns in slow flight or stalls on the check ride or or really training any other time, you want to limit your bank angle to twenty degrees. Uh, but you're allowed plus or minus five, so, but, so I would, you know, I'd keep it at 20 as best I can, but if you, if you get a little less, like around 15, that's, that's acceptable. Make it back down to 35? If you want to, yeah, go ahead and do what you need to do to get it back down there. Maneuvering at 3,500. And it could be it's climbing because maybe we got a little extra field. more power than we need. Just not, I don't, I don't like doing slow flight with flaps. I don't think it's stable that way. But what do I know? Yeah. Only what the DP knows. <laughs> yeah. This airplane, anyway, seems to me to be more stable. Doing just slow flight clean.
getting it trimmed properly, and on a, on a day like this, it ought to be able to just hang there and not burble up and down too much. All right, yeah, get that speed down, and it'll get that altitude back for you. There you go, there you go. Yeah, keep that speed at 55. All right, uh, maintain 55 knots, maintain 3,500 feet, and give me a left 20-degree bank turn to a heading of 330. Avoiding turns to the right because of the sun. <laughs> I don't okay, clear the left. But we'll we'll do some turns to the right. The turns to the left or the right? Uh, give me a left turn. Bit twenty degrees of bank. Turn ahead at three three zero. Maintain fifty five knots. Maintain third three thousand five hundred. Very good. Uh, All right, well, that was passing. That stayed with it. All right, um, maintain 55 knots and give me a right climbing turn. Turn right to 150 and climb to 4,000. The climb. Lots of right rudder to keep that ball on the middle. And then pitch for the airspeed. And like I say, you're allowed plus five on the airspeed. You're allowed plus five, minus zero on the uh, low flight airspeed there. Okay, we got a climb established. All right. 15 to 20 degree bank to the right. Turn right to heading of uh, 150, climb to 4,000. summer, this plane will not climb with 20 degrees of flaps, and, it, and even this time of year when it's cool, it won't climb with full flaps. Yep. Burning traffic, RD-513 Whiskey is to the east of the airport for entering a uh, 45 left downwind for 1-9, touch and go, Burning. Just a wee bit. There you go. Find the spot on the horizon that keeps the airspeed needle where you want it. Yeah, if you got to change the trim, do that. Yeah, I'm not sure. It, we never really established a good number of throws of trim for uh, low flight with flaps, so. About three gotta, to four. It's got to trim off the control pressure, which is what we normally are trying to do anyway. All right, very good. Right on the altitude, right on the heading. Right about on here. There. Right downwind, turning base. All right, let's do a left descending turn. Let's turn left to a heading of uh, 330, and let's descend. To 3,500. Yeah, find your, find the happy place for the nose to keep it at 55, and then it'll take pretty good care of you. Looks pretty good. Clipper traffic coming on our six Romeo, making the left 360, going to re-enter in the right down one one five. Clipper. Brownwood traffic, Cessna, now to Quebec is now. Hey, Cessna, 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 Cessna,
Well, yeah, lead it. So, like when it gets within 50 feet of your target altitude, start adding that power. Otherwise, you'll overshoot a little. The so rule of thumb is 10% of your descent rate. So, if you're descending at 500 feet per minute, then you know that'd be 50 feet. Descending at 1,000 feet per minute, it'd be 100 feet. All right. Well, that's good. That was that was all really good and passing. All right. Um, let's turn left back to let's turn left to two one zero. Make sure your uh, yeah, it looks like your compass and your heading indicator agree. So turn left to two one zero. It will hopefully the sun will be blinding us. I use that if you. Need. I'm not tall enough for that to do me any good. Well, that's perfect. The sun's not in my face, but it is in yours. <laughs> All right. Uh, turn back left to about 180. That'll get the sun out of your face. I want you to give me a power off stall straight ahead with full flaps. Okay. I'm already slow. Can I just transition to yeah. just like this? Yeah. Okay. Be aware you got a lot of trim, you know, and so change that accordingly to make it easy, to make the recovery easy for you. Traffic 214 is left down left. Great, you stayed within 10 of the uh, heading. Very good. All right, you can uh, get it. Yeah, climb a little bit. Go back up to about 3,500. Island 315, single mic, we'll be crossing. All right, well, 35.
river traffic Cessna 358 uh, turning final for runway 15. Should I go like 40 to 30 to 20 to 10, or should I just go from um, 40 to half laps? I mean, you can do it 40 to 30, but I usually go 40 to half laps. I, I usually go 40 to 20 and then 10 and then done. Okay, what I to use. Um, okay let's, uh, we'll turn right, uh, let's turn right to 210. I could kind of use this as a clearing turn. After we get pointed the other way, we'll do some uh, stalls without flaps. We'll try to get ourselves, we'll kind of clear the area, but make it a few turns here, and then we'll we'll do, we'll get pointed away from the sun, and we'll do some stalls without flaps. Yeah, just look, kind of head for Heiko over there, that'll work. Back down to 35 real quick. Yeah, while you're at it, uh, go, go ahead and give me a right turn to 330. Six, over, and the right down one, five, clear. Stay over there. There on the right. Almost a little bit of a sun dog developing there. Left turn back to one five zero. There you go, clear on the left. Nobody up above, nobody across the premise, nobody down below us. Go ahead, get after that altitude while you're at it. Clear traffic number 96, show me a final runway 15. Make sure the heading and the, yeah, I don't think the heading, heading and carrier of the compass are in agreement anymore. Looks like that's about 125. Yeah, 125. All right, come back to 150. There's Heiko. All right. Um, Give me a power off stall, no flaps. Power off stall, no flaps, straight ahead. Very good. We stayed within 10 of the heading. Very nice. Minimal altitude loss. Very good. Alright. Go ahead and get her back up to 3,500. We'll do one to the right. Definitely be bumpier. That's for sure. It's it's there is there's just enough to make it 
make you work for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not like riding on rails. Okay, give me a power off stall. 20 degrees bank turn to the right, no flaps. No flaps. Oh, no flaps. Oh, almost. Yeah. <laughs> Just, is it all the way to the stop? All right, go ahead and recover. Yeah, if it gets like that, it's just mushing down, and he can't do anything but just recover. All right, get her back up to 3,500 feet, and uh, come back left to one. Well, we'll stay on this heading, and we'll stall to the left now. Alright, Ethan Lori you know, just keep it on that heading for the moment. Uh, power off stall, 20 degree bank turn to the left, no flat, no flat, a clean configuration. Clear the left, clear the right, yep. I think I don't have epilepsy. <laughs> and the sun coming through that propeller is pretty rough. Just pull it back as far as it will go. Just make sure it's at the side. And it's at the There's a stall, finally. <laughs> it didn't want to stall. All right, good. Look at there. We're right back on one of those now. All right, climb back up to 3,500 feet. Can we get back on 1-5? Yeah, one five zero. We'll, we'll, we'll turn around here in a minute. Uh, Alright, good level off at 35. Good deal. Nicely done. Uh, give me a right turn to uh, 330. Clear on the right. Watch that altitude. Get after it. Yep. Well, we're actually way off. Way, well, way off. I don't know how it got that far off. It's, yeah, it's going about three, five, zero. Alright, you go left to three, three, zero there. That'll be my next big giant chunk of change I gotta do <laughs> after I finish paying for the annual. All right. 
right. Um, we're going to do some power on stalls. At first, let's get some clearing turns out of the way there. And, uh, so I just do some left. clearing turns. Clear on the left. Clear on the right. Up above, across the front, down below. There you go, 90 degrees ahead of change. And back to the original heading. That looks clear back there. Won't have any visitors from behind. Very nice rudder work, Captain. He had the ball in the middle the whole time. That was really good. 